Now, uh, while you are creating um, landing pages, and uh, there are some tools that you need to use in your platform. For example, you'll be using the WordPress, as you said earlier. We are going to be using the WordPress content management system to build our landing page. Now, there are several other tools to use. So this just depends on your own choice. All right. But in this particular course, we are going to be using the Elementor page builder. And then we are going to be using the free version and also the pro version of it. And then also, we have several themes available on the WordPress repository. So it's left for you to choose the type of WordPress theme you'll be using. But in our case, we can install the free Blogski uh, WordPress theme, all right? And then also you need a domain name, then you also need a service provider. Now, this lesson, we are not going to cover these two sections, how to use the domain name or to buy an, you know, possibly where you are building a website, you need to, um, you know, buy your own domain name. And then um, you also need to host your website in a good hosting service provider. So you have a whole lot of them. We have the Google host. We have the Namecheap. You know, we have hosting jar. There are a whole lot of them. So you can decide to choose any of the domain hosting providers you want to go for. So this lesson, we are not going to cover that session. We are only going to use an already hosted platform um, with an already purchased domain name to build our landing page, right? Now, let's get to the website you are going to be using now. All right, coming to this platform, you already have this WordPress installed already. Now, when you are logged in as an admin, this is going to be the first interface you are going to be seeing called the dashboard, all right? So you can customize all these things displaying here by going to your screen op options and then you can disable some of these things which you don't need, okay? All right, you can disable them if you are not convenient with them. Now, WordPress enables you as an admin to um, customize your appearance to make posts, to approve comments, pages. In fact, if you are familiar with WordPress, you get to understand um, how to use it, okay? But if you don't know how to use WordPress at all, as you said earlier, this is not a WordPress course. We are only going to show you how to use the WordPress content management system and Elementor specifically to build a landing page. So we are going to be specific. We are going to be going straight to the point, okay? So we said the tools that we need are the Elementor page builders. Now, the Elementor page builder comes in the... We have the free version of it, all right? So if you go to plugins, we have what is called the plugins. Now, these plugins are like small apps that extends the functionalities of your website, okay? The small apps that extend the functionalities of your website, now, for example, we have what um, plugins that has several functions. For example, we have the plugin called the Lightspeed Cake, all right? So it helps in high performance page caking and also site optimization, all right? We also have what is called the um, cat flows. These are used to build sales funnels, okay? Then we have what is called the Elementor. Elementor is a website builder. It allows you to drag and drop elements on your pages to build responsive, mobile-friendly, and you know, to create perfect designs for your website. Okay, a lot of persons out there use the Elementor page builder to build beautiful websites. Now, first of all, since I already have the Elementor page builder and also the pro version of it installed in my website. Now, if you don't have this, what you have to do is to click on add new. So you click on add new. When you've clicked on the add new, you search for the page builder here, All right? For example, Elementor. When you search for it, it's going to display it here. So just locate the Elementor here. For example, we have 5 million active installations, All right? This can tell that this is the ones we are looking for. Now click on install. But since you already have it installed, okay, it's already telling us that it is active. All right, so in this lesson, you are going to check the exercise files. We have materials that I've uploaded already. So you get to download the Elementor page builder um, plugin. It's a RAW file, right? And also, I'll, I've also uploaded the pro version of it, okay? 
So if you have enrolled for this course, you have access to these documents or these materials to say. So um, after you've downloaded it, what you have to do, click on upload. Instead of you to search for the plugin here, as we did initially, you are going to click on upload. Now it's asking you if you have a plugin in a zip format because the files I'm uploading is going to be in a zip format. That is a WordPress um, um, Elementor plugin. All right, it's going to be in the zip format. So you may have to install or update it by uploading it here. So all you have to do when you've downloaded the software or the zip file to your system, click on choose file, then locate it inside your system wherever you've downloaded it to. So ensure you look, you know your download directory so you can easily choose where the file is, all right? So wherever your file is, pick the file and click on open, all right? It's going to come up here. Then you click on install. Well, once you've installed the plugin, the next option is to activate that plugin. So you have to install and then activate it. You follow the same process for the provision of it. But since you already have the um, plugins installed, we are not going to be bothering ourselves about, I mean, on that. So we've installed the two plugins. All right. So in our next lesson, we are going to cover how to begin to create pages and then editing our pages using this Elementor page builder. All right. Thank you so much for coming to the end of this lesson. I'll be seeing you in our subsequent class.